Gaming company Tabcorp has posted a full year profit of more than $530 million. It's the first result since it spun off the casino arm of the business. It's been a good year for Tabcorp. It won the Victorian wagering licence last month and its online racing game has grown in popularity. Emily Stewart reports. Tabcorp's gamble on a successful split of the gaming and casino businesses appears to have paid off for both companies. Spinning off Echo has given us a chance to now grow going forward and we've delivered excellent results as has Echo. Tabcorp has posted a net profit of almost $535 million, up 14% on last year. The company's chief executive, David Attenborough, says the result has been driven by a number of new initiatives that are starting to bear fruit. The rollout of Trackside, the rollout of fixed odds in New South Wales and the introduction of a whole bunch of technology across online and in our retail outlets. So it's actually really delivered some, some real momentum. A key performer for Tabcorp has been its animated racing game, Trackside, which is available in Victoria and New South Wales. What we're seeing at the moment within the actual earnings capabilities, they're netting about $3.3 million per week, uh, and that's expected to push on. 1,500 stores will have this in the future. And this is, if you are an investor long term, this is the, this is the, the rollout of Trackside, especially in New South Wales, is something that you're looking at very closely today. It's been a good year for Tabcorp, with the gaming giant winning the Victorian wagering and betting licence. Tabcorp's chief executive, David Attenborough, says it will set the company up for the future. We know the business well. We've operated it for 17 years. It's really part of our DNA. And we, are, we certainly have put in what is a good price, the $410 million that we're going to pay the government. And it's a good deal for our shareholders, for the Victorian racing industry and the government. Rival Tats Group believes a national tote could happen within two years. There's pros and cons and, and certainly uh, we need to work through those. And I, in, my, in my case, the jury's out and there's some work that's got to be done on that. Tabcorp is also making plans for when its Victorian poker machine licences run out next year. Its gaming solutions business will lease out up to 13,000 pokey machines to small clubs across the country when owner-operator licences come into play. The company will pay a final dividend of 19 cents a share, taking the full year payout to 43 cents. You've basically been given an outlook where they're suggesting that they're going to pay out 80% of their, their, their net profit in the future by 2013. So again, that solidifies the fact that you are looking at an income stock um, and, and, a, and a yield play, which is very attractive in this current market. Meanwhile, the casino's business, Echo Entertainment, which only came into being in June this year, posted its maiden net profit of $226 million. Echo says its high roller business has expanded significantly and the revamp of the Star City Casino in Sydney is making excellent progress.